know some of you are watching me because I had a gaming channel. You see this as sort of a gaming channel. I don't talk a whole lot about video games compared to a gaming channel. I thought about playing Street Fighter V. My girl Cammy, I know I can kick some ass with her. She's back. I'm looking at picking it up, right? Only to find out that on the launch, it is essentially Street Fighter V Unfinished Edition. You get a uh, few characters, some returning favorites, new guys, uh, no real costumes, no real arcade mode, scant story mode, limited online play capacity that is buggy out the gate. So I don't pick it up. And it's not like I'm doing a review of it right now, because let's be honest, GameSpot isn't reviewing it either. What, did their check from Capcom not come in? Why don't they have a review up? You want to give us an unfinished game? Well then we give you a review that's bad. Is that the way that's supposed to work in journalism? If you're part of this Gamergate cult, uh, remember how that actually started out about game journalism and ethics? Then it got twisted into feminist bullshit? You guys wanted to complain that Gamergate supporters are evil. Well, now you don't have any journalism. You got an unfinished Street Fighter V that was kicked out the door for a big fight season for pro fighting game players. And then we're supposed to buy it for 60 bucks and wait over the course of several months as they fix the game and finish releasing content. I'm not even sure about this, but it sounds to me like you play through the store, you play through stuff, you do the fights, you unlock costumes, but you don't really unlock them. You unlock the right to buy them. So then you go to the store and you actually have to buy the costumes then. So essentially it's like, let's just leave the DLC off the disc and uh, everybody can just backdoor their way into it. But don't worry, you paid 60 bucks for a game that's not finished. Are we not realizing that gaming is dying quick? Like we're gonna be lucky to get through the decade with AAA titles still because there is so much risk involved. There is so much backhanded shit going on to the consumer. They're writing your brand loyalty, and at some point, these loyal fanboys are gonna wake up and realize they've been stitched.